Hello guys. I am Rosh. And welcome back to Sinata Design. If you want to create stunning high quality render videos or images, the right rendering software is an essential tool. In this video, I will discuss how do you choose a rendering software that's suitable for you. And the quick answer to that is, depending on your needs. Because the needs of each person for rendering are definitely different. Every person has different needs when they're creating 3D renderings. So, I can't say that, one program is better than another, because some people suit one program better than others. And because I often post my renders using Twinmotion, and share various tutorial content with Twinmotion, it doesn't mean I require you to use Twinmotion. All return to your respective needs. So the video I'm going to make today is meant to help you understand some of the things you should think about before you choose a rendering program. So, let's go ahead and jump into it. First, rendering type. Alright, so first of all, you need to think about what kind of rendering you'll be creating, so everyone has different usage needs. For example, if you are a landscape architect your needs will be different than if you are an interior designer. If you are creating more animations, then you will have different needs, for example, you will probably need a real-time rendering program to create the animations. Of course this will be different than if you just made a bunch of still images. So you really need to ask yourself, what are the main things I'm going to use this program for? Is it an interior render or an exterior render? And you really need to make that choice, because that's really going to drive your choice of what render program is right for me to use. The second is, post-production rendering. So, another thing to consider when you are looking at rendering engines is, how advanced your skills are towards post-production rendering. Some render results still require post-production rendering to finalize the rendering results. Even though most of the rendering results, in my opinion, need to be matured with Photoshop as one of the most widely used software for post-production rendering. You need to know how advanced you are in using it. For example, when you are using Lumion, or Twinmotion, or some other real-time rendering engine, you will only need a few touches of Photoshop to finalize your image. Unlike when you use Corona Render, or V-Ray, you will need more intense Photoshop for post-production rendering. The third, hardware specifications. Another thing that I think is important is, your hardware. The first thing you need to think about is the operating system. If you have a Mac, the programs available will be different than if you have a Windows PC. So you need to make sure that the program you are trying to get works for your operating system. For example, Inkscape doesn't run on Mac. So, when you use a Mac computer, V-Ray will be more suitable because it can be used. Another thing you need to be aware of is, many real-time programs will have higher hardware requirements. So you have to have a better graphics card. Usually like a gaming level graphics card. Apart from that, you also need to make sure that you have a faster processor, you need to make sure that you have more random access memory. So those are all the things that will make programs run better, and even if you use programs like V-Ray or Twilight to render at high specs, they will still make your rendering run faster. So, the more powerful your hardware is, the faster your rendering will be. Next, the fourth is, trial and cost. Alright, next thing is the free trial. Before you want to make sure what rendering software you want to buy, you must do a trial of each software that you want to buy later. Many of these programs have free trials or other cool stuff. Various features are also offered when you use the free trial, some are limited, some can also access all the features while in the free trial stage. For example, on Twinmotion, you can download the trial version with the most complete features. To see exactly how the program works. I would recommend, if possible before making any purchases, see if you can get a free trial and try it first, and make sure it's a program you really like. Some software will be easier to master than other software, it depends on each person. And don't forget that while using the free trial, you should be able to calculate how far you can master the rendering program. 
Okay, after doing the trial, like it or not, different programs will have different prices. And has a different payment system. So, you really need to know what you want to spend. So I guess the first question I would ask is, does this program have a one-time fee or is there a recurring monthly fee? Programs like Twin Motion, for example, have a one-time fee and then I think you have to pay for temporary updates of the program. Unlike Twin Motion, Escape on the other hand has a monthly recurring fee so you pay a certain amount each month to access the program. Another example is New Lumion 2023, now they have changed the payment method from one-time payment to subscription payment method. So now you can get Lumion at a lower price. So, you need to have an idea of how you are willing to pay for the program as well as how much money you are willing to spend because that will determine your decision. Okay guys, those were a few things we need to choose a rendering software which I think will answer, how do I choose a rendering software that's suitable for you? See you in the next video. Ciao!